Hey good friends out there, this is Tommy, your Easy Choice Painter. This is what I visualize. I had these two pieces, something I took apart from my mom to get it out of her trailer, and I thought, well, I'm not going to throw away these doors. I saved these doors. And the other doors is to my other cabinet. And I just had it in my head, and uh, my brother built it, and he did good. But the thing is, is he's got so many things going on. I told him, I said, David, buddy, I can handle this. And so, I just sent him on his way, paid him, sent him on his, on his way, and here's what we got. You know, we're going to add a 2x2 two two over there, and for some reason or another, there wasn't one. Maybe he just didn't finish it, but I'm going to put a 2x4 over there, and just check out the space, and it's going to be perfect. we got to put two 2x2, two two, a 2x4 two is too big, so on the bottom, it's going to have to be two 2x2s. Two uh, for the front frame to uh, you know to cover up the space and not to set the doors on but cover up spacing and we can put our hinges on this side right here you know for this door that side for that door and I've already got this pattern this went to my old cabinet and all I got to do is cut it it's just a frame I could take a piece of plywood if I wanted to because it's one by a piece of plywood is five eighths but you see right there, I just take and cut this frame. And right here, I don't even have to mark the hose. I just got to get these drawers, these drawer panels. They're not drawers, they're just panels for decoration that was on my old cabinet. So I cut out this frame and we got her. It'd be a piece of cake. So uh, that's going to be really cool. And uh, I went ahead and caulked everything. Under here was a little damage from water. So... I got it caught real good to fill in the hose, and if I want it perfect, I could take uh, I could take some exterior spackling or something like that. You can't use drywall mud on something like that because there's going to be water around. But I'll prime it in kilt soil base, and then take exterior spackling and smooth it out, and I can make it perfect, like it never happened. And then paint that right here. Our backsplash broke off. Don't know why, probably because of water. And so we created this was for the backsplash, which is great, fantastic, because this is actually higher than the other backsplash was. The other one was four inches, this is about six or seven inches. So that's super cool. And then I'll put something in front of the window, you know, to keep water from getting down inside the trim of the window. You gotta watch everywhere there's water. This this wasn't exactly perfect, so I'm gonna have to do something about this. But, oh, okay, here's one thing about countertops. Countertops are made to be smooth from one end to the other. And that's what we got. And same thing over here. I don't know what this is about. And like I said, this is just a rough draft. This is just a before. So I know it don't look too pretty right now, but it will because I'm an artist. But countertops are supposed to be smooth. He wanted to put some fancy trim up here and, and all that. I didn't want that. I want to keep it simple. Saves money too. And if I was to buy this at Home Depot, the way I got it designed now, oh my goodness, it would be over $500, maybe even $750. This one costed me, I paid him 100 bucks to build the frame and everything. And it was only because I was so busy and I want to make my wife happy. And I was working under the house with plumbing, which you already saw. So uh, he did this for, he built it for a hundred bucks, but I got this design, I, I figured this out, I've been playing with it and stuff, and I think it's really super cool, super cool. We're going to have a nice kitchen, because the rest of the kitchen is okay. I'm thinking about painting the, the walls, I like green, but the countertop is blue, and so I'm thinking of going with a teal or a turquoise, I haven't made up my mind, but it's going to be definitely be blue green, green blue. Teal is a blue green turquoise is a green blue i think it's how it goes i know teal is a blue green so there you go or maybe it's the other way around <laughs> but uh you know i got a lot on my mind i can't remember which is which let's see teal has a stronger blue color so that would be blue green blue being the first color green being the touch added to the accent or whatever and so turquoise would be the other way green blue i, I had it right the first time so we got it going on and this is just a preview, but uh, I think I think she'll love it. I do, I do it for her.
Well, this is Tommy Gucci Choice. Just thought I'd throw it in. We will catch you later, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Common Sense Tips and Tricks. And I sure got them. Have a great day, folks. We will catch you later.